Hey everybody, thank you guys all for tuning in. Welcome back to the Twitch channel. Thank you guys so, so much for 100K followers. I realized it like just, was it like yesterday? I think it was yesterday I was checking on my Twitch channel and I noticed that it had happened and I was like, ah! Okay guys, well, I'm very excited to start uh, playing The Sims today. Today, I think that we're gonna build the character that I wanna do my extreme, um, my extreme rags to riches challenge playthrough with. So we're gonna start that up. Um, you guys can give me some input, but I'm probably gonna make, uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of character I'm gonna make. I don't really have a good idea yet. So, but I think so, at some point they're gonna wanna become a farmer and love off the land because I want them to move into the cottage living uh, pack once I have that. So that's what I'm going for right now. Uh, and uh, AZ Mad, thank you so much for 45 bits. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, so let's jump in. We game. Wait, let's jump out. I don't want you to see anything. Spoilers from upcoming episodes of Not So Bear. So hold on, let me, let me like start a new game. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, go back, go back to the game. Did you already get, I did get early access to Cottage Living. Why does it always do this to me with the Elgato? I don't understand. Okay, here we go. Uh, I did get early access, but, oh wait, she's already cute. I could vibe with this look. Not the outfit, but this this character design I already kind of like. So let's, let's uh, remove the excess but I kind of already like a lot of what this girl's got going on. She's really cute. Like really, really cute. Honestly, I don't even need to change anything about her face. Love that when the Sims just give me some good stuff already. Let's slap some skin details on and see what we're working with. <gasps> she's so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's very cute. Sorry, I get really excited when characters are cute. This, oh. I love that skin detail on her. What about this one? I gotta... Oh, that's hard. They both look good. They both look good. This one just changes the jaw, but this one's like very soft and cute. And I like this one. So I'm going to, um, I do use CC on my stuff. I am posting a master list next week. I will be posting the master list so you guys will be able to see it all. So do not worry, I've been trying to do that as well. I need lashes, but I don't know where to get them from. You can read the, the right here, what the name is. That's where I got the lashes from. So just search that on Google and it pops up. It's awesome. Make sure to search it with, um, skin details. If you want the skin detail version, there's also an accessory version, but you can't do the glasses, glasses with lashes and stuff when you, when you do that. Sorry. Um, looking forward to the master list. Thank you. I worked very hard on it. Uh, okay. So we've got that skin detail. I want kind of like quite, ooh. wait, Oh, I, Oh, that's right. I have to do these lashes. I always forget that. Oh, those are kind of nice. Or we could do like light lashes. I can't, I can't decide. These ones almost look too long. I think something more, oh, like that's nice. I feel like something a little more low key. Oh, I like those on her too. I like kind of like that. And these ones are very low key, but I kind of like these ones. I think that suits her face very nicely. Oh, she's so cute. And I love a little like blush moment, but I think that I don't want I don't know. Do I want that on? All? I don't think I want that on all the time. I think we'll just add that blush on. We can also add little, little, uh, uh what's it called? Little s marks on their nose from my like e-girl kit, but I don't think I want that either. Okay. I think this looks great. Let's go into some makeup maybe. Oh, she's so cute. Um, she looks like Haley Atwell. I'd have to look up Haley Atwell. Um, I even already like the, the eyebrows. Like we don't even need to do that. You know, oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, so cute. I'm loving this new makeup that I have, um, which will also be on my master list. Like this is really pretty. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I want like heavy eye, uh, eyeshadow on though. 
could we could do like this like little soft one in the pink that's really cute the sim was wearing pink when we first like grabbed her so pink could be cute i don't know i kind of am liking this natural look also we are going rags to riches so maybe we don't have a lot of makeup on at first because we might not have a lot of money to buy makeup is expensive yo you know so maybe we don't have a lot of money and so we're kind of just chilling i don't know what do you guys think maybe maybe less makeup is more Ooh, there's just under eye, over eye. Ooh, I have not like discovered all the different makeup options in this actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not as like, I haven't looked at all of them as much yet. There we go, that's cute. Um, working night shift and had to help a patient. Well, um, good luck with that. I feel like that is so, I can't imagine how much like work that is to work night shifts. So shout out to you. Thanks for doing that. Yes, uh, less makeup to start. Less is always more. I agree with that. <gasps> so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute. How cute. This is very cute. Yeah, CC makeup is such a game changer. This is very cute. I love all of this. I love that all of the things that are happening. We could do something like this, make it a little more natural. This is a little more alpha, I will also admit this kind of makeup but it always it looks so good or we could do a glossy lip i do like a glossy lip oh these are pretty on them too oh this character's so cute or this one oh i do love this lip i'm not gonna lie this one looks great on them too although i hate that the clipping is happening on it it's like kind of glitching right here with this lip gloss which makes me very sad but mostly from far away you don't even notice it um so meh Make her a lost princess. That's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, so I was kind of thinking that the, that this character would be kind of like a penniless beggar to like a princess kind of story. I thought that would be kind of cute, right? So I we're, same page, same page. Also, look at these pretty hairs that we got. Oh my gosh, wait, this one with the braid? Uh, or this one? <gasps> this one! Doesn't this look like a, I'm just a... A poor nobody girl, but secretly a princess. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the clumsy alien hairs. No lie. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. This one's also very pretty. I love the texture. I love the textures of these hairs. Ah, ah, so I love, I love my CC hairs. I also got these ones recently. That one looks really good on her. But I'm not as in love with those as I thought I would be when they're on, to be honest. Just, maybe it's this coloring. Oh, it's kind of nice in those colors. These minty co Oh, that one's cute on. That one's actually very cute. But we're going to go. We're going to go with the dark, the dark hair. Oop. We also have all of these. Oh, wow. Everything suits this character. Everything suits. That's so cute. But I, I, I do think I really like the one that's like. I'm just a princess. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Much thank you so much for giving a treat to Chewy. Chewy, would you like a treat? Stay. Stay. Okay, catch. Ready? Catch. Good catch. Uh, yeah, these CC hairs are just... <laughs> I love them. I love them. I love them. Squirrel friend, thank you so much for 15 months and the congratulations on 100,000 followers. I really appreciate it now. And thank you so much for being supportive for 15 months. The danger zone. Okay, I'm vibing all of this that's going on. She also has like big princess eyes, which is very cute. Um, we could give this Sim some like adorable glasses, but I kind of think that I like the Sim without. Okay, so next up. Oh, the Sim also has a little tat already. That's, I don't hate that. I don't hate this little, I, I don't love the heart one. I feel like I would prefer something. Oh, I forgot also that I have under tattoos this, for some reason, this pack. I think it's called the love you like crazy pack also includes some highlighters and stuff like that in the tattoo section. So I actually have more options in, in tattoos for like other things to put on my Sims, which is very cute. Like, look how cute the highlights are. Like, this is very cute. I had no idea I, I had this and it comes in like different colors. 
So it could be more subtle. Oh, I love it. Okay. And there's also some sparkles. I think we figured this out for the eye thing, but I, I no, no, not as much makeup. Actually, I might get take the highlighter off as well. Um, less makeup because we are also, there's a Grim Cookies. Is this like a full body? I'm just discovering all my CC. Um, I like the, oh, this would be kind of cute. Oh, but you don't see it. It reminds me of Hunger Games. Or not Hunger Games, Divergent. When when the birds, it was all the birds. But I thought something like really subtle and like dainty would be really cute. Like, um, where is, it's like these flowers. Yeah, like something like that would be really cute on this character, I think. Ooh, oh my gosh. I just thought there was like a more, like an even more subtle tattoo of a flower. Is it this one? I guess it might be that one. Now that I'm seeing them all though, I don't like it. Also tattoos are expensive, so maybe we won't do. Tris from Divergent, yes, that's exactly. Maybe the tattoo is proof that she is royal. Ooh, that's kind of fancy. I like that little backstory with the tat. Okay, well then maybe she always had it since she was a child. And it's more of like a, not like a tattoo, because that would be kind of complicated if she had a something since she was a child. And it, <laughs> I feel like though, if she had it since she was a child, it should be something like on the back, right? Oh wait, can I like take the hair? I'm gonna have to take the hair off to see this. Oh, like that's kind of pretty. Or something like that, you know? Like something on the back where it's like, it's easier to hide. But it means that you're royalty. <laughs> oh, I don't love any of these. I mean, there's this one. Oh, oh goodness, I don't want. Which is also, I guess, some CC that I have. Hmm. Oh, I don't love half of these tats. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there there's some good ones, but I just don't like them for this uh, for this sim. We could do like the little ankle one. I kind of like this ankle one. What do you guys think? It's a birthmark. <gasps> a birth. Well, if it's a birthmark, I almost think that heart one would have been cute for like a birthmark. Like it's an accidental thing. And it wasn't like a red. Oh, the red looks kind of violent though. I wish there was one that looked more birthmarky. I wish I had birthmarks. That would have been cute. Do the ankle one. I liked the ankle one too. I did. I liked the ankle one. I thought it was cute. The heart one for a birthmark. Yeah, the heart one would make more sense for the birthmark. Maybe I'll have to download some CC and give, give her a birthmark instead. A brand if you want it to be dark. Ooh, spooky. I like this ankle tat. I think I might save it though. I might actually look up some like birthmark CC and like give her a birthmark. I think that would actually be really cool. So we're gonna we're gonna move on here. So so this character is gonna start with very little. So I'm kind of thinking like something. We gotta have something that looks literally like some rags for our sim to start out with. Something that does not feel very nice um, clothing wise. I mean this this could definitely work. Oh. Although it still looks like a lot of work got put into it, but you know what I mean? Like, like a little, uh, not, not so, I don't know. This looks like a Hollywood, like girl, you know, like in Hollywood, they would dress the, the like down on her luck girl that, that, uh, the princess and the popper, like that's what the popper would look like. Like that or so, oh, wait, the, like this, this is what they would look like. <laughs> I mean, it kind of suits her. She looks, she's very like giving me Snow White vibes, to be honest. Um, I'll have three freckles on my arm that looks like a triangle. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Is this a Rex or just challenge? It is a Rex, it will be at some point. I mean, this one's kind of, this is, a, this is so funny. Oh my gosh, very much like Hollywood. Like I'm just a, a young girl hoping to find where she belongs. I mean, this is very Little Mermaid. Like, I just, I just got these legs. <laughs> um, I wanna keep looking at these cause these are cracking me up. These like kind of like more, I don't know. 
I don't even know what packs these are from. This kind of outfit. This is so funny. Oh, the bear outfit. She could just have nothing to her name besides a bear. This one also kind of gives me like a, I'm a cute soft girl, but I don't, you know, some of the colors is like, I don't have a lot of money. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a poor, you know, beautiful, poor girl, whatever. But like, you're like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you still look very put together. Hmm. I kind of like this one. Not as if this is rags. This is actually a very cute outfit. So I don't know. Maybe she stole it from a street fair. Oh my. This is cute too, but I don't think that would be like constitutes right. That one's also very cute. Oh, soft girl, but I'm broke. Yeah, that. there you go. That's what I'm going for. Soft girl, but I'm broke. Um, or this is like more oversized. Soft girl, but I'm broke. I love that. That's so funny to me. I To be honest, I, I had a farm. A dress is not yard work friendly. That is so true that it is not yard work friendly. But she's not on the farm yet. She's just starting out. And I feel like a dress is very like you have one piece and you don't need to buy more. That's one reason why I thought that this made sense. But maybe I'm crazy. When I think Rags to Riches, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, really? What about that? She could have a pulled together a cute look from a shelter or dumpster. Oh, that's so true. That's true. People do throw out some nice stuff. I kind of like, oh, I love the purple. I'm I'm in a purple mood. I like, I think it looks nice on her too. Um, She could have thrifted it. That's true too. That's true too. This does look like she could have thrifted it. It's very cute. Um. Much, thank you so much for giving treats to Chewy. And Chewy wants another treat. You should do the one with the scarf. Maybe we'll do it for uh, another, like a cold weather outfit. Thank you, Chewy. Sorry, I'm, I botched that. I botched the toss, Chew. I'm sorry. He's like, it's okay. I still don't have to eat it. Um, Anakin's mistress, thank you so much for the stretching. I'm stretch my arm. That could so easily be thrifted. Okay, I like that. I like that she thrifted it. She's maybe she's gonna always be that girl that's like I'm thrifting stuff because I'm cool, but first she's doing like I'm thrifting stuff because I'm from rags, and I you know. Uh, and the head was the the second um, stretch, so thank you for the stretches, everyone. And then shoes, I'm thinking like, hmm, just maybe some simple flats, maybe nothing like complicated or loafers. No, I kind of like the flats. They're just, they're simple, they're cute. Oop. Or no shoes, we don't get shoes. No, that's, that's so, that, I know that is a reality for some, but no, I'm gonna give her some shoes. Okay, I think the black flats are cute. Rex Rich just always reminds me of the dolls, Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, really? This reminds me of like, I don't know. It reminds me of like Cinderella. That's the kind of story that I always think of. Uh, so the, for the formal, ooh, I already kind of like this. I, I feel like we are not really gonna have formal outfits. So maybe we'll just have the same outfit for formal wear. I wish we could just copy paste, you know, just copy and paste. Uh, I know that the pack that it was from is the new Dream Home Decorator pack. So yeah, there we go. We'll just do the same, the same outfit. Um, but no, no formal, thank you uh, for formal wear. I feel like that, that tracks. Athletic, I feel like we could just do like an oversized sweatshirt maybe. That could have been thrifted. Mm, none of these are like, hmm. All these are quite style, maybe like this and then like a gray no of uh, none of these accessories and then bottoms will just do some like shorts yeah like something like this in like a black what is happened to the hair what's happening here what's someone did something what is what is this Oh, it put the clips in for some reason. It kind of gives like other colors in the hair for some reason. I don't know what that is. And then we maybe we'll get like a sneaker. 
these ones don't look like particularly well kept. So maybe that. At this, for the start of the challenge, you just have all the outfits that be the same. So she only has one outfit. Oh, I guess that's true. We could do that, huh? I was kind of hoping that she would have like two outfits, but yeah, maybe we should just have one. What do you guys think? One outfit or two? Oversized t-shirt. They give away those like everywhere. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe it'll do an oversized t-shirt. Oh, none of these look particular. Maybe like this. Maybe we take off athletic and then just do t-shirts. Is there like an oversized? They all look kind of, oh, here's an oversized shirt. Unfortunately, it's got the like <laughs> designer on it. Um, but you know, it does look <laughs> more oversized on the sim. It wouldn't it, this be just too funny if we were like, this is the t-shirt that Oh, men's shirts. Let's, yeah, let's go through the men's shirts. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I was going to be like, maybe she just really did find this thrifting and nobody wanted it. I know. I was, that was, that was sassy. That was a sassy, that was a sassy one that I just did. Oh my gosh. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, okay. Maybe we just do like a oversized like v-neck. Like that, that looks fine. And we'll get like some, maybe some like mismatched shorts. Like shorts that just don't match. There you go. And that'll be her, the sleepwear too, is the t-shirt. That like big t-shirt. And the like white tee. Is that what she's wearing in this? Yeah, she's wearing the white tee and the, the shorts. Where are those shorts? Oh, are these the only ones? Hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just remove sleep and have the shorts. Where are the shorts? Well, do ya? Here they are. No, this one. Yeah, with like that. I think it's that one. Yeah, and then we'll just not have shoes. Perfect. She's so pretty. She is so pretty. Is this a, this is not the 24 hour stream. Why do they keep doing this to my sim? She doesn't need stuff on her. It's sleepy time. Okay, party look. Definitely don't have that. We're definitely going to keep doing this. This same look is the party look. Oh, this is so weird to just be like, and she has, she has one look and that's it. She has nap time and the one, and that's all she knows how to do. Swimwear, I just feel like you would wear the same t-shirt to swim in. You just swim in the t-shirt and shorts if you had to swim. I think that tracks t-shirt and shorts. Way to somewhere. Yeah, and you just you just jump in in your t-shirt and shorts. You'd let it air out later. There you go. Uh, and then the hot weather. I think would be the the could the dress still work for hot weather? No, it wouldn't. Okay, so we're gonna do the t-shirt again. We got two looks, two looks, and that's it. Oh wait. Oh wait, this one's, which one fits better? That one fits a little looser. Maybe I need to change the t-shirt. The yeah, do this one. This one doesn't fit her as well. It's not as like cute on her. So maybe I should switch to this one. So it's like a little baggier. This kind of makes me sad, but that's part of the challenge. And there's nothing wrong with having a baggy shirt. Um, she'll get there. Ooh. All right. Part of the challenge. Part of the challenge. And then shoes. I think we'll just do the, the sneakers again. Oh, they didn't. Okay. What about the flats? Okay. Her flats work as hot weather. So this is, oh, this is what she'd wear for hot weather. It's kind of mismatched, but it is what it is. And then cold weather. Okay, technically her one outfit does not work for cold weather, so I don't want her to freeze. So maybe we'll do like this kind of thing. 
you know, like this look that we were kind of playing with. We're like, oh, why, why did all of a sudden she have two? No, I mean, it, it looks amazing on you, but I don't know if we need all that. <laughs> and then shoes will do the um, same like tennis shoes that we wore before. Yeah, like these ones. And then we'll maybe try to get some leggings. Yeah, like that. That's the cold weather look. So we have three looks, three looks, and that's it. We got a cold weather, a normal one, and a sleeping. And that's all we know how to do. <laughs> um, why did our cold weather look so cute already? Doesn't it look kind of cute? I think it's very cute. What if we gave her a little hat? Like there's like these little hats that are new that are really cute. Oh wait, that's in the new pack. Oh, my brain. But I was like, that kind of looks cute. <laughs> so cute. At some point I'll give her a hat like that, but not, not today apparently. Um, the Sim gives me, I have nothing, but I'm still going to look fabulous in the few clothing items I have. That's exactly what I was going for. So we nailed it. We nailed it. I'm glad that that's, that's what I went with. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, please, sir, can I have some more? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I was in that play. All right, what's the Sim's name? Let me know. Actually, we maybe we should discover what the Sim is. Um, let me find some rags to riches. Okay, I'm looking up the extreme rags to riches challenge. Uh... I'm trying to find where is the like official rules I'm trying to find them Pearl all oh, Pearl would be a cute name Amelia Loki <laughs> Tally Bear thank you so much for gifting a sub to the show okay Willow Ariel Jane extreme Living at home, building a garden, getting a job, having a family. I don't think it says anything about aspirations. I could be wrong though. I'm trying to like find it. Let me know in the chat if I'm like finding the, the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. Complete any one goal for yourself or your husband or wife. Complete any one aspiration for your child sim. Okay, so that's not, what about, what about Trey? They don't have anything on Trey. Okay, Snow and Peach K. <laughs> Julia, Flora, Clara. Clara is cute. A couple of you said Clara, I think. Lavender. Lavender would be so cute. I do love like a floral name for her because she is going to be like someday a, a wealthy farm owner with a big family. It's going to be so cute. Um, okay. So I, so I guess for her aspiration, I'm going to just do like family and I want her to be like, cause she's supposed to have a family. So wants to a big, a large loving household. So I'm thinking either like a super parent or like a big happy family would make sense for the aspiration. The farm one we can change, we can change to the farm one once I have the pack, but I don't have that pack yet. Um, oh, I'm showing you guys this stuff and you can't see it as usual. I'm very talented. <laughs> Clara Lavender. Oh, name her Mint. <laughs> no. Marigold. <gasps> Nickname Goldie. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I see her as a Goldie, but maybe that's just because I always think of like Goldie Hawn. You'll have gold hair. <laughs> but I think Goldie's still so pretty. Um, okay. I'm still seeing names. So no one, no one has anything to say about my family aspirations. 
I don't blame you. I'm always excited to name my Sims too. Um, okay. I'm just going to go with Big Happy Family. And then for traits, well, maybe you do, we'll do the name first. So that way, that way uh, we can move on. All right. So why don't you guys give me, I've seen some, some uh, lavender. I've seen a couple times. She looks like one or Iris. I'm seeing some, some buttercup. Oh, buttercup cute. Lily. Oh, Liliana. Um, okay. I've seen some people say big happy family. Thank you for, for agreeing with my choice. Um, honey. Oh, honey's cute. Big happy family is great. They all get floral names. <gasps> they all get floral names. I love that. That way I can use all of the names that you guys are giving me right now. That's perfect. Hey, Len. Um, Willow, Amelia. Uh, I love, I really like lavender. Also, she's wearing a bunch of purple. So like, I feel like lavender's really cute. Ooh, Astrid. Astrid's really cute. Is Astrid a floral name? Am I crazy? I, I mean, I am crazy, but is Astrid a floral? I like Astrid. May. <gasps> May is cute too. May's not necessarily floral though, but it's very cute. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Lavender. Make her in Peachish May. The thing is that she doesn't, I think she looks more like she might be related to, um, to, uh, oh my gosh, my brain just like died and went to heaven. So, um, but I don't think she looks like she's related to the, uh, to Chelsea necessarily. Um, her last name should be Petals. Yes, Aster. Yes, Lavender. Astrid makes me think of The Office. Is there a, an Astrid in The Office? She's Chelsea's adopted sister who ran away. She's so cute. Um, Astrid is a flower. I kind of like Astrid. I'm going to go with Astrid. Maybe I'll let you guys vote. Should it be like Astrid or Lavender? I'm going to put up a couple of my favorites. I'm going to let you guys vote because I think that'd be fun. New poll. Name. Name. Okay. Lavender, Astrid, or... She does give me so many vibes too. Um, hmm. Lawson Juniper. Oh, I like Juniper. Okay, Juniper. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of good names. Lavender is oh, that would be a cute serve name. Oh, that would be so cute. Um Daisy, Jasmine, Floor. Floor is pretty. Bloom. Rosy floor. Okay, I've seen a lot of floor. Okay, floor it is as well. Okay, so here's your options. We're voting on the name. And currently the options are number one, Lavender. Number two, Astrid, Juniper, and Fleur. Oh, they're all so pretty. She's going to be the best little cottage core queen. <laughs> Kelsey making pulls and I'm just here drinking soup out of a mug. <laughs> it's a mood. It's a mood. She's so um, what was I saying? She rem she she looks like she could be related if if she was related to anyone related to the Impeach May family. I feel like she would be most related to Craig. She doesn't like facially have any of Craig's features. It it's a little bit in the eyes, a little bit in the in the dark hair. Um, but I I feel like she'd be the most related to Craig. But I also kind of want her to maybe be her own her own thing. Um, but. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I want her to be her own thing. Ooh, we're seeing a lot of lavender. I literally, oh, okay, lavender won. Okay, okay, lavender, la I almost said lavender and peaches may after just saying, okay, lavender. Lavender, what is her last name? Bloom is the last name. <gasps> Bloom is so cute. Bloom reminds me of like, what's his name? There's like that character that Ewan McGregor plays in that um, Tim Burton movie and his last name is Bloom and it's so cute. She looks like Hazel. Yeah, that might be part of it. Yeah, she maybe looks like Hazel, who is actually not the kid of, um, I think she does look more like Hazel than she does, um, Craig. Um, lav, lav, lav up in here. Um, lav, oh, Bloom. You guys remember? Also, there is Orlando Bloom, but can you? Oh, what's the name of that character? What's the Bloom? As reminds me of Wink Saba Saga. Oh, that's a good one too. I need to. I need to watch 
any of that cartoon. I've never seen the cartoon, but I, I have watched a couple episodes of the, the TV show. Edward Bloom, thank you. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Big Fish is the movie. And if you've never seen Big Fish, please do me the favor and go watch Big Fish. It, I, it's one of my favorite movies. Okay, Lavender Bloom, <gasps> how cute. Okay, Lavender Bloom obviously loves being outside. Uh, I just feel like loves the outdoors. Oh, my. On Jima. I just realized I did not have the gameplay audio on until just now. Okay, she loves the outdoors. It's family oriented, maybe? I don't know. But she doesn't have a lot of family, so I don't think she's family oriented yet. Um, and she could be romantic. That could be so cute. I mean, she is, in my brain, she's like a Disney princess. So she'd be like cheerful. <laughs> oh, the coil. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Um, and then I feel like good. I want her to be, I mean, I, eventually she'll have some of the stuff from the new pack. So we might move it around a little bit, but maybe, I mean, slaw, not slaw, but who would is recycle disciple? Um, that might be good. Green thumb. Is that one green fiend? Living in the green street and will continue to... Oh, no. That's not it. Like, is there a gardening one? I don't think there is a gardening one. I don't think. Vegetarian would be interesting. That would be interesting. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> uh, we could make romantic. We could make, uh, be a bookworm. That's very princess vibes. So being a bookworm. Um, child of the island. We already have likes outdoors. And we have cheerful. Oh my gosh, did I move my stuff back? I guess I moved it back because we were doing something else. Here we go. Good, good would be good. Bookworm is so ooh. I thought bookworm was so is kind of cute. I think bookworm gives me princess vibes. This is she's cute. She'd just be so happy like sitting outside with like a book. No, she's so cute. Um. So, okay, there you go. And then likes, we're gonna do, 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 do activities. We're gonna do gardening as a like. Oh my gosh, where where is it? There you go. Likes gardening, <gasps> maybe guitar. That's very Disney princess and singing. <laughs> uh, and then, well, maybe leave the rest to, to chance. Um, and then we're gonna say color, purple is her favorite color. I think that's cute. Uh -huh. So there you go. There's Lavender Bloom. I really like her. Oh, we didn't do the music to stylings. I do kind of like them to just randomly do it, but I think we would do like singer songwriter is cute for her. Some like, yeah, some singer songwriter stuff. Oh my God, how cute is her voice? I kind of like, I don't know. Or we can... I think I like the lilted one. And that's pretty. I, 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 I want like kind of like a, well, that one's feminine. I wanted the like bouncy one. Is this one the bouncy one? <laughs> oh, that one's cute. Or we could do like the perky one. No, not the perky one. Swagger walk. That would be such a move. The bouncy one's cute. I like the bouncy walk. I never do different walk styles, so that one's really cute. I like that. Well, Lavender looks like she's all done. Um, I love her so much. I'm trying to see if there's any other things I need for the rags to riches challenge. Okay, so the extreme rules are uh, you should have three levels of logic and five levels of handiness. You have to pay $500 before you start building the house for noise disturbance. What? Is this the same? Okay, I gotta look up. I'm gonna look up, um, hopefully, J I think James Turner did it. Extreme rag to riches. I'm wondering if he had the, like, is this? Okay, yeah. I'm wondering if he has the link. He does not have the link to the rules. 
We are playing some new rules. We cannot sell items or inventory. No fishing, collecting, gardening for money. No gardening for money? How do you make money? That face. What? What? How do you make money if you can't collect or garden? And no fishing? How do you make money? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he made up the challenge. Okay, 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 okay. What? I'm going to have to do some research. <laughs> how to do this. I feel like we can garden, but you have to sell it at a market. I see. She gave Melody from Little Mermaid sequel vibes. Actually, I see that. I definitely see that. Painting. Okay, you could do painting, but you'd need money to buy the easel. <laughs> oh. Uh, looks like adult Melody. She does kind of look like that, huh? Dumpster diving. I guess we could. I feel like gardening should be allowed. This is very interesting. Okay. You can sell things you make, but it has to be at a, ma a market. Or sell it at a selling table can just be sold stuff out of the pocket system. It just can't be sold out of the pocket system. Interesting. You must complete mandatory rules for building a home be uh, because you must have a home address before applying for the job. It would help if you had a bed, toilet, shower, sink, chair, counter, stove, and a fridge. You have to pay $1,000 for college degree so you can start your career. Oh my gosh. Extreme steps for having a family. This is nuts. Okay, cool. What a fun little challenge. I kind of like it. She has to write books also. Oh my gosh, she could be a little writer, couldn't she? I kind of want to do it where she doesn't ever get a career job. And mainly as a maker. So I might cut the job part. Is that is that going to be a problem? Because I feel like if she's like a writer and like a farmer, it would all be like home things, you know? So like, I feel like I don't really want her to actually do the career. She can farm. Nikki Lee says she can farm. And a lot of you say, no, that's fine. We can do no job. I'm excited to do this challenge. I'm very nervous too. Okay, check. There's Bloom. I wasn't planning on starting the street that like the challenge today, um, because I did really want it to start. Ooh, what season should we play in? Let me know in the chat what season should we play in. I wasn't planning to start the the like the thing today, but I realize now that like it didn't take very long because all of her stuff was the same between all of her outfits. Spring. Okay, a lot of you are saying spring. That would be very cute to start in the spring. I feel like she's such a spring sim. Winter to make it extreme. Oh my gosh, that would be pretty brutal, huh? That would be very brutal. Uh, where should we start by living? Um, we have so many residential worlds to start in. We could start in Mount Komoribi. I feel like Mount Komoribi. I, I never play any Sims in Mount Komoribi. That would be kind of fun. Um, but Eco would be good too. Glimmerbrook, that would be cute. Strangerville trailer. Oh, that could be good too. But we would have to delete the trailer. We don't get anything to start uh, Rags to Riches. You get nothing. Zip. Eco has dumpsters. That's true. Um, Eco. Okay. A few of you are saying Eco. She would die in winter. No, not our lavender. We, we're not going to kill her at first. Glimmer Brook would be cool. Mount Comoraby. Only one person from Mount Comoraby. But you, you see me. You get me. Windenburg. I always put all my Sims in Windenburg. Eco, um, what challenge is this? We're doing the rags to riches challenge. Um, okay, let's do eco. I feel like Evergreen Harbor would be good. And I feel like we'd have to do like a, the like gross area, <laughs> you know, like the, the Port Promise is now like kind of industrial and like grody. I feel like that makes sense. Uh, for the extreme challenge. Mayhem03, thank you so much for two months. The danger zone. Uh, I made a twist just to follow you. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, yeah, this place looks gross. Oh, and it's off the grid. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be very hard. <laughs> off the grid. 
Yeah, sure. Okay, bulldoze the lot. Oh my gosh, no. It's gonna pierce all that, I have a feeling. Yeah, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so hard. Oh my gosh, no! Okay, and then I think it's m testing cheats on money zero. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh my gosh. Lex331, thank you so much for the two months! The danger and Mayhem03, thank you so much for two months the as danger well. Zone. Poor little Lavender. So we got a little Lavender here. Nothing to her name. Absolutely nothing. This is our empty plot. I actually think I started a Rags to Riches. Not an extreme version, but a different Rags to Riches in The Sims. Uh, in this very lot, actually. So I remember a couple places that I did go for stuff. I'm gonna have to read up on the rules. I haven't read up on the rules all yet and like mapped them all out. So I'm gonna try to like put that together in a little document and then maybe next week we'll start the challenge. Next Thursday, we'll start this Rags to Riches challenge. Um, but yeah, she reminds me of Eve on the Lucifer show. I haven't seen that show, but I think she's just so pretty. I feel like Whimsy Windenburg is more whimsical. That's true. It would be more princessy, huh? This is just sad. Look how sad this is. Oh my gosh. Better be in a dress to pee yourself a lot. That's true. Oh my god. What do you guys think? Should we stay here or should we go for like a Windenburg like like more fairy tale cottage kind of vibe? This is very like industrial feeling. Eco doesn't fit the vibe. Yeah, she kind of feels a little out of place if I'm doing kind of a princess take on it. Let's see, let's, you know what? Let's uh, let's go just see other options. You also said Glimmerbrook. There's not a lot in Glimmerbrook is my one problem with Glimmerbrook, but let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, we could go like somewhere like here. Let me just look at this. Maybe Winderberg ha after I voted for this. Okay, so there's also this one. Oh, but this has got like stuff here. I don't really want her to have any stuff. But it is very fairy tale looking. Hmm. Hmm. She could live in the woods. She could live in the woods. Let's try this one. Let's see what this one's like. Glimmer book definitely has the fairy tale vibes. See, this is the problem though. It looks like the lead up to the house looks too nice. The lead up to the house looks too nice. I I do have a favorite lot. Oop, I could just close that one. I do have a favorite lot. Slyheart, thank you so much for the stress. She can forage, can't forage. I did see that. I'm gonna have to look up what my extreme um rules are and like kind of take it. Take it how I go. So the where is my is this my favorite one? Or is this my favorite one? Where is my favorite? Is this it? Let me see. I have a favorite like lot in in Windenburg that I think is so cute. It's this one. It's like it's just so cute. Like look how cute it is. It feels so fairy tale right here. Like it's surrounded by water and there's like a little thing over here. Actually, is this where my Sims live right now? Is this where, this might be where my sims live right now in Not So Berry, but regardless, I love this one. It's so cute. So maybe we'll do this cottage one and we'll just bulldoze it. Okay, let's go back to to um, to um the main world. <laughs> I would have to bulldoze their home and, you know, take these, these sims out, but that's something I'm willing to do. We're gonna evict them. <laughs> I evicted them to move a girl in that has nothing. You know, <laughs> Sims logic, am I right? Uh, but let's let's move this, move this uh, Sim. She has 750 simoleons to her name, which is great. I love that for her. Okay, here we go. All right, hold on. I gotta do free real. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we can't afford this kind. Um, but what we got to do is we're going to have to bulldoze the lot. Boom. Boom, bada, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Wait, is it bulldozed? What, what is happening here? Um, uh, congrats, Andrea. Good. Thank you so much. Lovely poetry. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. This feels right. This definitely feels right. 
Yep, there's nothing here. Okay, this kind of feels like, yeah, she's dumped off. You know, maybe her... We got to give her a backstory. Uh, but she was dumped off, and this is all that she has is this land. So she got some land, though. That's pretty impressive, uh, I guess. Uh, she, um, but let's... For these traits... Okay, I'm thinking I kind of enjoyed the, like... Uh, where was it? Off the grid. I kind of liked that. Um, so I think I might still make it off the grid. Um, I also kind of want it to have the creepy crawlies and have like pests. Um, and what else should we do for the lot traits? I just feel like it should be very challenging for her. <laughs> she lives in exile and has no, has to earn her kingdom back. Ooh, that's a good one. At least sleeping on grass is more comfortable than sleeping on concrete. That is true. That is true. Um, off the grid. Yes, we're definitely doing off the grid. She needs a black cat. Ooh, well, maybe at some point she gets a, uh, a companion, but not right now. Uh, Slyheart, thank you so much for the stretch. I'm going to stretch my head and my neck. Do some head rolls if you want to do them with me. Oh, feels right with this music. So dramatic. Okay. Uh, stray dogs or cats? Dog friendly? Oh, that'd be cute. That would be cute if it's a okay, cat hangout. Dog friendly. Not available. Oh, dog owners. Oh, dog hangout. Okay, so what should we... Should we have some stray cats or stray dogs? I feel like stray cats is more princessy, but also stray dog would be so cute because I don't play with dogs as much in The Sims. Um, you can't see the lot traits. Oh, apologies. I'll move, I'll move over. There you go. Boop. The music is so soothing. Thank you. The stray, the dog hangout would be cute because then she could adopt a stray dog and that would be very cute. And it would also be cute because she would like, do, like have to like befriend the animals. I think that's kind of cute. So let's do a stray dog hangout. Mostly because I don't do dogs as much in my game because they're harder. They're more work. <laughs> so we have stray dogs and we got creepy crawlies and we got off the grid. Um, eventually, I think... Actually, I don't know what's officially announced. I never know what's announced with The Sims, so I don't want to say anything that I'm not like I'm not allowed to say. But anyway, uh, we could make this technically a tiny home residential. Oh wait, we have zero. Never mind, it has to be residential. <laughs> okay, so that's our stuff. Um, that's our lot traits, and we're gonna call this. Um, we're gonna we're just gonna call it the Cottage AFC. I think that's fine. Should we like sell this? No, the rusty mailbox. Can, can stay. That is fine. It doesn't cost anything anyway. All right. So she has absolutely nothing. The household is off the utility grid. Objects that require power or water will not work unless these objects are supported off the grid. Supplemental water utility may be collected around the world. Also check out off the grid category and buy build mode for helpful objects and activities. Some objects that can, can create water and power utility even while off the grid are the wind turbine, water generator, dew collector, power generator, and solar panel. As long as household produces more power or water than it uses, objects will use utilities to continue to work. So that's going to make it extra challenging for us to get pretty much most things. Um, we can change it to tiny ohm when we earn some money. That is true. We'll have to have a couple walls in here. Um, lot challenges has been announced. Great. Thank you, Jazzy. So when lot challenges happens, we will move the, the, the challenging bits like the creepy crawlies and stuff to lot challenges. And then we'll add in more lot traits. Um, things like uh, the, the boop, 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 boop the can maybe cat friendly or even like uh what was the other thing that you guys mentioned that you thought might be nice uh, stuff with like good lighting or um things like that we might add later if you place two three by three floor it's free and we'll let you use the tiny living lot type well i don't want to use too many like bonus things yet like i don't want i don't want to like make it easy on her you know i want this to be very challenging um, but I'm wondering if I should make any other characters for this playthrough. Like, should there, should we make like a, a long lost family or should we make like any other characters that might be from her past or in her future? Let me know in the chat. Cause I'd be down to make like one quick character before we head out. I kind of want to play along with you, Avon. Is Avon a person in the chat? Otherwise you can play along with me as well. 
I haven't played a challenge like this in a long time. A prince for her? I mean, it would be very cute if she had a prince or a princess that we made for them. A part, a party granny, a cousin. Her long lost family is Craig. I mean, I thought that might be cute too. <laughs> Evil stepmother, love triangle. Um, A lost sister. Ooh, a lost princess sister could be cute. Um, it would be great. Okay, make more characters until the new pack is close. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let I'm gonna make a new poll. Enemies to lovers. Oh, I've never done an en enemies to lovers in The Sims. What if it's like her landlord or something? I don't know. <laughs> or an evil prince. I don't know. Okay, okay. Who should I make next? We only have about 10 minutes, so we don't have a lot of time, but. Okay, si sister, princess, uh, family member, member, like cousin or grandma. Family, okay. Cousin, Gma. Gma! Uh, or, uh, prince, uh, what would be the other one? Oh, Princess and the Popper. Yeah. Um, Rice and, recent and favorite vibe. I know, right? That's what I want. <laughs> um, okay. This is what I'm, okay. A bad boy prince falling for a good princess. Oh my gosh. An evil twin. Ooh, evil twin. But then we got an evil prince. I don't know. There's a lot going on here, which I love. Okay, I'm going to start the poll. So we got like a sister who's a princess. Uh, we got a family like cousin, grandma, or the, the evil prince that ends up being her love interest. <laughs> Assassin woman. Ooh, that's like a whole other plot. I love that. <laughs> An evil twin. Twin princess like princess in the pauper. That one would be very cute. Love has left you dreamless. Thank you so much for 18 whole months. Um, so we're currently doing a poll of who should I make next? Right now I'd see a sister princess and a prince are going pretty hard. Um, just because we make one doesn't mean we won't make another one at some point. Um, mean Color, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The Geeky Canadian, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Oh wait, Mean Color, thank you so much for the sub. And the Geeky Canadian, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay. Sorry, I messed those up. Is her hair Max's match or alpha? It is technically Max's match, I believe. I love living on this borderline where it's like, who knows? But I believe her hair is from Green Llama. Is that right, Green Llama? Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, oh, Prince, okay, we have Prince. The evil Prince ah, has won. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's, uh, let's go back to manage worlds. <laughs> Evil landlord is a bit redundant. <laughs> oh, we need. Um, okay, so let's, oh, she's so cute. Okay, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna go to Glimmerbrook because he's a prince, right? So that makes sense. We're gonna make a prince. Okay, I don't I don't like this prince. But we have to make the prince very quickly. So this is gonna be, we'll maybe like just get him started and then maybe we'll continue him next time. Uh, okay, so this is the, the Ebony Still Lovers Prince. I kind of want to make Reese from, from Acrobat. What do you guys think? Should I go there? Oh, wait, this guy's kind of cute. Oh my gosh. Like, should it look just like a Sim version of Reese? <laughs> if I. Am I too much? <laughs> Go there. You're all like, yeah, do it. If you haven't seen this character, I feel like you're gonna just be like, oh, wow, yeah, okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like fast, fast make a sim version of this of this character. All right, so body yadi yadi uh, is like actually similar to this. Yeah, it's like strong and like. Uh, skin tone we uh th the character's like pretty pretty tanned i believe Ooh, that one's actually so such a pretty skin tone uh maybe like that 
That might be good. Or like, it's like an olive, an olive skin tone, which it's like not, none of these are kind of like perfect. Oh, maybe that one, that one, it's like a little bit of a darker hue. There you go. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then face structure is just a lot of cheekbone, my friends. Not that, 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 one's, that one's crazy. Don't do this. Don't do this, Kelsey. All right, cheekbone. There's just, it's very strong cheekbone, uh, I believe. Is that, yeah, there you go. And then the cheeks, cheek, or the jaw is also very like, it's like more, okay, almost like that, but like a little bit more chin. I'm going off of like a fan art that I like right now. <laughs> Please change his eyebrows. We will change his eyebrows. Patience, my friends. Okay, we'll like do kind of even more cheekbone. There we go. Even, just even more cheekbone. We need more cheekbone. Okay, there we go. Okay, face structures like looking pretty decent. The chin's like a little bit astronomical. There we go. Okay, there we go. Bone structure is pretty good. The head shape, I've got to do like, they all kind of look the same and I don't understand why, but it's fine. Okay, nose, I, I think it's just kind of a standard, a standard nose, like not anything that exciting nose wise. You know, I don't know. I'm sure that the character's better described at some point, uh, but. <laughs> I'm just going off of the fan art. <laughs> um, we'll do like a little bit wider of a nose and like... Kind of look very prince, princely, like dark prince kind of vibes. In this fan art, he's got kind of like the tip of the nose kind of goes down more. So I kind of like that. Kinda, although his head is kind of tilted down, so I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh my gosh. And then Mansion Baron should be to start and then ch change to Friend of the World. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. And then the eye shape is very, oh my gosh, the cheekbones are just, just astronomical in this. I love, I love how much the cheekbones are just very prominent in, in this character. It's, it's great. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Lips. I think he has like fairly full lips. Of course. Of course. Of course he does. They're they're not like too full, but they're like full full and and smirky. <laughs> Full-ish and smirky is the lip is the lip. That that kind of is close. I think that one's almost there. Oh, this one's kind of. Oh wait, that one's kind of good. This one's kind of like foolish and smirky. They're like, the lips are like pillowy. <laughs> Gossip Girl reboot level <laughs> cheekbone, exactly. Full and smirky. Yep, that's a pretty good full and smirky. Um, and then eye, eye shape is like piercing. Like, you know, it's that kind of like, I don't know how to make that in The Sims. I guess this is kind of good. Make him like, Kind of bigger eyes. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is kind of it. We're 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 getting there, and it looks like he's kind of got this like golden rod kind of eye color. I don't know if they have that in this game, unfortunately. Um, but it looks like his eye color is like more of like a a golden brown. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh no, this one's looking like it's more purple. What color are the eyes? This fan art is like differing sometimes, but I think it's kind of a purple. Ooh. <laughs> oh my. We're going to make him quite, he's, he, I mean, he's quite muscly. We could go with more muscle, I suppose. But he's not, he's not like the most muscular character in the book that belongs to someone else. Does he have purple eyes? I don't know. Let me know in the chat if you've read it. Does he have purple eyes? Am I like kind of? Got, he's got to have kind of like a broody, a broody, mysterious look. It will match the hair. Is the hair, the hair's got to be dark. It's like jet black. And then the eyebrows, it's got like kind of very like coy. Oh, that one's kind of good. 
He's got kind of like these. No. Um, he's got kind of like a like a very like yeah like that kind of <laughs> brow shape. But I I don't I don't know if I want those CC brows or not. I don't know. Oh no. They're very like full and like you know. <laughs> My words are not very good. I guess that's probably the best brow for him, though, is kind of these. But they're like, they're more pulled down. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, Yes, purple. Okay, yes, they're purple. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. Yeah, he kind of looks like, kind of like. Mm. <laughs> Asriel's getting a book. We got to have like. Hot brows, hot, hot man brows, you know? Skin details, you gotta do the grim cookies, like boom, like ram, you know? Um, are the lips like too high up? Maybe they need to be down a little bit more. There you go. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, back to the skin details. Okay, uh, I feel like, yeah, we gotta get some some good good lashes in here nothing we don't want to skimp this man on his lashes oh no we don't need that much lash though maybe like those i don't know we could also do these lashes Oop. but these are kind of like very low key and i kind of want him to have a little bit more there you go that's fine that's fine that's fine you should have beard he in the in the I don't think he has a beard in the books, the character, but we could always play a beard. This doesn't have to be exactly the same characters in the book. Um, so, you know, we can do whatever we want with him. <laughs> wow. Look at that sim. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sim. All right. I want to find, I want to see how many CC hairs I have. I don't think I have that many. Oh, I actually have way more male CC hairs than I thought. Um, so the, the hair in the like, in the um book it's very like it's very like i don't know i need to get some better male hairs like this one's kind of accurate to what i'm i'm seeing in the fan art it's like he's got kind of like a wispy vibe but like it's kind of cut on the sides like this um <laughs> i'm making him look like uh resand from akatar <laughs> because you know uh, I needed a fangirl moment apparently today. We can also look at some of the Sims hairs, but you know, I don't know how much I like all the Sims hairs necessarily. I feel like this hair is good, but it's not perfect. And I want a better, that one's pretty good on actually too. That kind of gives me some <laughs> princely vibes. Um, this one's kind of okay, but that's not from like actually. This one's good, actually. It's a little, a lot on the top. Maybe this one. That one's okay. Like this. Uh, uh. This one? No. That one's just the hair that uh, our main guy in the Not So Berry Challenge had. So we're not gonna do that again. I think this one's probably the best one so far, but I, I think I need a better hair uh, than this. So, but we're gonna go with this right now. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the, <laughs> the, the, the evil prince. And um, of course, this the evil prince will have to have like the most uh, audacious, like suit looking kind of look for him. Like just very like, oh my. Like something like that. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I made this sim look like this character from this book. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's very like exactly what I would have expected or dreamed up. Like this is a lot right now in my brain. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, that's how I pictured it. Oh, I love the pirate. Oh, now I'm just playing dress up with the pirate look I was just playing dress up. I'm sorry, I apologize. Like this is just, wow, it's very, we gotta make him very bougie, I agree. Very bougie indeed. Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna go with probably like the one of the first looks I put him in. Like this one, I just think this one somehow looks like a evil bougie prince 
to me. I think that's just giving me that vibe. And um, I know you can't see the socks, but for some reason I always need to put like black socks on my male sims. So I just know in my heart that they're wearing black socks. I'm, so I'm sorry I didn't do Flynn Rider. Maybe, you know, we could have somebody else Flynn Rider. I'm going to get some different hair, I think. I'm not exactly pumped about the hair, but uh, we, I'm just going to name them something random. Weston Ackers. Uh, because I'm running out of time here. So I'm going to make him a mansion baron. Oop, as you guys kind of suggested. And then maybe later he'll change his, his tune. Um, but he's gonna want to be like a mansion baron and then maybe he's like hmm, Hot-headed would be a good Yeah, like a good one uh, And maybe like oh mean would be intense <laughs> I don't know if I want to make a mean. I think dog lover would be cute because that that way like he has at least something that that is bonding with her tally bear thank you so much for the gifted sub and kimmy thank you so much for 15 months i appreciate you Ooh, snob snob's perfect snob's perfect so snob hot-headed and maybe like a dog lover or charismatic wait i don't think that's a i don't think that's a um or romantic would be cute Materialistic. Oh, wait. Self-absorbed would be good, actually. Um, that one would be good. Or, or materialistic. I feel like materialistic could be good, too. Hmm. What do you guys think? Materialistic snob or, uh, or self-absorbed? Um, this is gonna make some interesting gameplay. Oh, art lover, so you can appreciate her art. That is very, <laughs> that is very by the book, but I kinda love that. Make him romantic. I kinda like the idea that he's romantic. I don't know, romantic or dog lover too. I need more, I need more. Okay, a lot of you are saying snob and self-absorbed. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of snob and self-absorbed. Okay, I'm seeing a lot more self-absorbed. So we're gonna keep self-absorbed. And then do we want romantic or dog lover? Romantic would be kind of cute. Because <laughs> she's not very romantic. She didn't have romantic. Um, a romantic snog. Snob. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit more for romantic. So let's go for romantic. <laughs> this sim is making me laugh. Okay, Weston Ackers is here. I haven't done all of his other outfits. So we'll have to give him maybe uh, outfit makeovers as we go. But I, I love, I love Weston Ackers. Wait, I, I don't, I need a different name. Tell me his different name really fast. Um, you dressed him like Vlad, I dressed him like, okay, that makes me kind of uncomfortable. Okay, I gotta, I gotta ch change that, I guess. I don't think I, I can do that morally speaking. Okay, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm ready to do that emotionally to let him be. Wait, is there just not suits? Where's just suits? This one's sets. There's no just suits. Okay, fine. Um, all right. Da, 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 da. Where is like, there, there's gotta be one that's just like a dark suit, but looks more classic than this. Cause this looks very, is it, was it this? I mean, this one's kind of good on him too. <laughs> you know what? This one looks very bougie. I'm going to leave this one. This one's like intense. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever used this before as well. So I think that might be good. And then we need, oh my gosh, his voice. I need to maybe change his voice. Bay. That one felt, felt right. We could name him Reese. We could name him recent. Damon Coin. Oh, Damon. A lot of you have said Damon. I like Damon, okay. Archer. Ooh, I like Archer. Damon Coin. Hmm. Prince Sterling. Ooh, I like Sterling. Sterling. Ooh. Alistair. Alistair's good. We could name him Reese. <laughs> Halloweeny. I mean, we could just call a spade a spade. <laughs> but Damon and Damien remind me too much of like popular TV shows, I feel like. Archer Kensington the third. Astrid Meadows. Sterling, Theodore Sterling, Archer, Sterling Archer, D 
Damon Salvatore. Right? That's exactly what I'm thinking of now. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm always going to think of that. Italian Prince Damon Salvatore. Ooh. Lucifer, Reese Sterling. Rice is a cool name. I mean, we could name him Ryson. So that in the book, his name is, it's, it's recent, but it doesn't look like it's spelled Reese to me, but that's how it's pronounced according to the book. So recent, uh, recent Sterling, recent coin, recent meadows, uh, Leo or Leon. I kind of like Leo. Weiss, Weiss is a good last name. Recent Weiss. Reese is his last name. His first can be Archer. Reese could be good. Sterling. Re Reese and Sterling. That doesn't sound good together. Starlight. Reese and Starlight. <laughs> Lavender and Leo. Oh, that's kind of cute. I kind of like Leo. Leonard. Le Leon. Le Leon. Leo. Leo Sterling. Leo Rice and Sterling. 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 Am I spelling that right? Sterling. I think I've seen that word too many times now. Leo Stark. Winters. Leon Sterling. Leon Sterling. Leo is a little basic. Reese Starlight. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Catnip, thank you so much for 18 months. Leonardo. Leonard. Leonardo Sterling. That's a lie. I don't know. Prince Leonard. Will this be uploaded to the new channel? This will be uploaded to the new channel. Last name, Akatar. <laughs> Leon is cute. Oh, this is too hard. Leonard. Leon, Leonardo, Matthias. Matthias. Oh, y'all have, have such good names. It's so hard. Mal Reynolds, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Sterling Starlight. Ooh. Right. We should just do Reese. Okay, maybe we should. <laughs> Recent Sterling. Recent. Mm, he's bougie. No last name because he's no last name. I'll just put like a dash. Lisa the third. Uh, Thorn. Recent Thorn. Ooh, that kind of sounds good. What do you guys think? Do you like Recent Thorn? Recent Thorn? Or we could do uh, Archer Thorn. Or Le Leo Thorn. Write fanfic. <laughs> I like Thorn for the last name. I'm not sold on Recent just because I feel like I'll just I'll, I'll just equate it to the book character. And I, I know we based him off of it, but I feel like maybe please speak to Mr. The Third. <laughs> Bloom and Thorn is great. Oh, I love that too. Blue, the Bloom and the Thorn. Oh, look at us go. Archer Thorn. Archer is good. Archer Thorn. Archer Thorn. Leo, Leon was good. Leon Thorn. Leon, and he could go by Leo. What do you guys think? Archer or Leo? Let's just, let's narrow it down. I'm going to put up a poll and we're going to have this happen. Okay. How do I put up a poll? I've forgotten. Okay, here's the new poll, okay? Name, Archer, Leon, or, uh, those are the names. Start poll, Archer or Leon. I write fi fanfic for uh, Kaz, Kaz. I don't know how to pronounce it though. C A O S. That is cool. That I love a fanfic. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been reading them, but I grew up reading like things like that. And um, Gus Payet, thank you so much for the stretch. I always stretch my neck, so let's stretch. Let's stretch out oh, the back. Oh, that felt good. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Ness Archeon Archer for our sim. That's true. That is true, Archeon. Ar Archer Archeon is the sister's like last name in the book. Mm. Archer Thorn has a bad boy vibe. It does. It does. Oh, I am starting to lean Archer, but the chat is leaning Theon. Oh no! Archer Thorn. Archer Thorn. Leon Arch Archeon. Archer Thorn. <sighs> Leon is winning. Leon is winning. Oh. 
<laughs> that was so close though. It was 53% Leon and 47% Archer. I hate to do this, but I feel like Archer feels a little more Prince. So I'm going to go against the pool. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to do me. Thank you. Thank you, chat, for telling me to do me. We're going to go with this. His favorite color is black because he's... <laughs> and purple <gasps> because he's purple eyes. Wait, she loves purple and he has purple eyes. That's so cute. Um, And I'm going to go with... I'm not going to put all of his likes and dislikes yet. Maybe we'll add those as we go. But this is Archer Thorn. We're going to add him to my game. And uh, this makes me happy. I, I love I love it. Is this, which is like, I want I want him to have the fanciest house. <laughs> oh my gosh, free real I'm getting, okay, free real estate on. I've literally ran out of music, but I don't care. I'm moving him in. I'm gonna evict the house. <laughs> and he's moved into the biggest house in this neighborhood. Uh, in the in the fancy magic neighborhood, maybe he is fancy in magic too. Who knows? But this is our this is our villain. Uh, I'm very <laughs> excited to see him in this world. He is he is a uh, just a very handsome man. Uh, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave this here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for 100k, and I'll see you guys all around around the internet very soon. Make sure to remember that merch drops tomorrow. Uh, ShopKelseyDangerous.com at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'll see you then, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.